Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. Welcome to the video. Today we're talking about Galloprant. Galloprant is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, but it's really, really unique. So with that being said, doggies, as they get older, they get arthritis or degenerative joint disease. They also get osteoarthritis. All of these things basically tell us that the dog is painful, not as mobile, and they're just uncomfortable as they age. A lot of veterinarians, myself included, have been giving anti-inflammatories for a very long time that are non-steroidal NSAIDs. This class of meds include everything from Rimadyl to Meloxidam to Paroxicam to all kinds of stuff. The thing is guys, all of those NSAIDs are focusing on blocking the COX or COX or cyclooxygenase from causing inflammation. So with that being said, the reason my Galapran is so great is it doesn't affect that pathway. Because when you affect that pathway, you can get stomach and intestinal issues like I guess gastritis and gastric ulcers. You can also get kidney issues and, and liver is responsible for doing some metabolizing. So we're trying to get away from that, especially for the doggies that are getting NSAIDs long term. Galapran is nice because it's, it's a prostaglandin receptor antagonist. That means that if the, the galloprant is showing up and it's floating along and it's going to block the EP4 receptor. That EP4 receptor is usually retaking in prostaglandins and that receptor is being activated and that's causing all this inflammation and pain. But what galloprant does is there's a lot of receptors out there, but this is a major receptor. So they can't drive the inflammatory pathway, which is amazing. And also this means that, you know, this is going to be hopefully more gentle on the intestines and on the kidneys and on the liver. Of course, you're going to have other pathways that are still happening because you're not doing a blanket over the whole thing and stopping everything. But you're doing enough where you're going to see substantial results. They did a study and or they did a handful of studies. And they did a study and the pet owners noticed significant improvement in reduction of pain, increased mobility, the doggies just seem to do better. And this is one of those meds that you can give confidently long term because it's meant for that. It's with the idea of, you know, this isn't for the doggy that like tore his ACL. I mean, you could, but this isn't for that doggy. This is for the doggy that is going to have chronic debilitating pain. And we want to make sure that their golden years are golden with Galloprant. So I do like it, it's a good drug. Every dog's different. There are adverse effects like any drug. Usually they're gastrointestinal or vomiting, diarrhea, upset tummy, nausea, night wine, eat that usual stuff from any NSAID we may see. But the good news is it's really tailored for long-term care of a doggy. Always, always talk to your veterinarian first. Always, always do lab work. It's really important to make sure you have a healthy dog before starting any meds. And all meds do carry risk factors, no matter how big or small they are. But whenever you don't give meds, you're also making a decision to acknowledge the fact that your doggy is going to be uncomfortable. So do your best. I know it's hard, but um, kind of get a game plan for what you expect to do for your doggy long term when they start getting older. As always, guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind liking or subscribing, it greatly helps the channel. You guys take care. Bye.